I'm about to fly out to the island of Antigua to spend one week soaking up the Caribbean sun. Now this trip's gonna be a little bit different for me for two reasons. One, I'm gonna be staying in an all-inclusive resort, which if you know me, you follow my channel and you see my other trips, you know I'm always backpacking and staying in hostels, so this is gonna be the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This is my room for the next week. It's insane. And the second reason this is gonna be a bit different is this is actually a press trip. So Traverse Events, in conjunction with Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Board, have invited myself and nearly 40 other different travel content creators to go out there and experience everything that Antigua has to offer. I'm standing here doing my piece to camera, but then you look around and everyone else is doing their piece to camera as well. We've got Carl here just copying absolutely everything we <laughs> say. He's copying me. <laughs> <laughs> So there's gonna be fellow YouTubers, lots of bloggers, Instagrammers, podcasters, you name it, all experiencing this journey together. This is basically where we have this little jetpack thing that you hold on to and it'll just take us through the water. And I'm super excited for this trip for a few reasons. One, it's a free trip to the freaking Caribbean. Two, I've only really experienced the Latin side of the Caribbean before, so it's gonna be great to experience one of the Eastern Islands on the other side. No problem, enjoy yourself. We are. And finally, three, whilst I've been running my YouTube channel for a few years and making travel films for even longer than that, I'm very new to the whole travel content creator community. Have you done your Instagram post yet? My Instagram? I like to feel that I've got a traditional, I call it the El Capitan. El Capitan. I'm feeling very hashtag blessed with hashtag El Capitan. <laughs> So to be honest, I don't really know what to expect from this trip. I don't know most of the people going on it. I don't know what the resort style of the trip's gonna be like. I have no idea how the video's gonna turn out, but if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to do an all-inclusive trip in the Caribbean, or if you've ever been curious of what it's like to go on a press trip, then sit tight, because I'm gonna take you on the journey with me. In fact, the only thing we really need to kick this whole thing off is some unbelievably cliched steel drum music. Hit it. Walked off the plane, and this is what we've been greeted with. Welcome to the Caribbean. Well, I could get used to this sponsor trip stuff. We were fast tracked through immigration, fast tracked through security. You get goodie bags? <laughs> I can get a goodie bag. Oh, there's free rum inside. Sweet. Uh, my name is Francine. I'm from the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority. So, have fun in my island, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right? Bye. From the airport, it was just a short 40 minute shuttle ride to our resort, and whilst we all waited our turn to check in, they gave us a more free run. Then, I hopped into a buggy to take me to my room for the week. Okay, so I've just been dropped off of my room. This is my room for the next week. It's insane. So I've got two double beds, it's just me, but you know, kitchen, couch, and then I have a bay view. Let's go check this out. Just opening that door, it's so warm outside. So, yeah, this is me for a week. Guess this will do. This resort is, it's next level, it's something else. It's basically its own village. It is so huge. It's not just a little hotel. I mean, I'll show you the map here. It's like the reception's there, and I'm all the way over here. So there's a main swimming pool, which has a bar beside it, and the big restaurant where you get meals at set times during the day. Then there's not one, but two beaches, each with their own bar and grill, where you can get food and drinks all day long. There's loads of water activities available, from snorkeling, kayaking, sailing, or you can just chill in a sea hammock. The staffs are here seem super like awesome. They're trying to make it, you know, feel really friendly and welcoming and not just sort of cold hotel service. And in the evenings there's always things on as well, like tonight they've got like a pool party with a huge buffet on offer. Now, with all these things right on our doorstep, we could easily spend a week just inside the resort. But we're here to explore the island, and it's a whole bunch of activities that we could sign up for starting tomorrow. Yeah! Yes sir! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this morning we're actually finally getting out and about and doing our first tour. We're doing the Antiguan nature tour. Where we're gonna go kayaking, snorkeling, hiking maybe, head to some beaches. So it's gonna be nice to see some of the nature around here. Hence it being a nature tour. Actually we good fun hanging out with the group for the day. Get to know each other. It's all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get the next one. It's fine, oh, whatever, okay. whatever. Don't be lazy, you guys should walk. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Hurry up, guys. Come on. It was just a short bus ride round to the Nature Tour Centre where we got our gear together to go kayaking. Shortly, we're going to send you out to the mangroves. And then your kites will be set up. You go for a tour around the mangroves. You're signing your life away. You're in now. You're in now. No turning back. So, guys, please sit back <laughs> and enjoy the ride. Hey guys, welcome to Nama. Right, this is the Marine National Park. Now here's where we're going to be kayaking today, alongside an offshore island right there, which is called Guana Island. <laughs> How are you guys in the back? Doing great. I'm doing really well. <laughs> okay, look happy guys. <laughs> First off, why these plants are so important to us is because one, it acts as a nursery for the young and upcoming wildlife. What is so just keep a good eye out and uh, let's see what we can find. We're going to do a little scavenger hunt now, so here we go. The reason being is called upside down jellyfish is because most jellyfish that you'd probably see would be in an upright position like this, swimming around in the yeah. ocean. But instead, these guys live upside down like this, on their heads, just resting on the bottom of the ocean floor. Basically, trying to paddle a kayak whilst film with a non-waterproof camera and pick up a jellyfish. It's not working. Yeah, what have you got, Dane? Yeah. A bit of crab or something. There's loads of jellyfish around. How cute! You want to have it? it yeah. Oh my god, Put people are going to hate us on Instagram. We're going to touch animals. Ooh. Don't worry, guys. It's a jellyfish. And it's safe. It doesn't sting. It's, it's all very good. kind. Don't kill me. They live upside Do down. not send hate comments. So they work for conservation here and they instructed us that it was fine. So yeah. yeah, trust us, it's okay. Okay, back you go. Bye bye. And now he's upside down how he's supposed to be. What have you got there, Tom? Yeah, a little cucumber. <laughs> These basically live on the seabed and just hoover it up. They basically clean them. So in some countries they eat them, but it's best to preserve them. They keep the sea clean, and it literally just made it's making a farting noise right now. I might put him back, and that might be his distress sound. <laughs> yeah, it literally just farted. So, now, guys, first off, I have two different types of species of starfish right here I have the red starfish, and then you have the spider starfish. Now, they're very delicate creatures, so we try not to keep them out of the water for too long. We keep them as wet as much as possible, and we never turn them upside down. Reason being, the rays from the sun puts them into a bit of a shock if we turn them upside down. Um, the eyes are very sensitive, so we just try to keep them nice and upright at all times. After kayaking, we hop back in the boat to take us round to our snorkeling spot. All right, we've had a brief snorkel on the reef just there, and now we've made it to the island. And of course, like everything in the Caribbean, there's rum involved. And you get off the plane, you get rum, you check in the hotel, you get rum, you get on the island, you get rum. It's all about the rum. Yeah. How's the rum, guys? Really nice. Very bright, but it's gonna make us feel just as bright as yeah. We chilled out on the beach for a little while, then made our way back to the main island. Thanks for today, Mark. You're welcome, man. It's been awesome, mate. Thank you so much. Have a good one, buddy. Normally, that's where the tour would finish, but there was one extra thing they wanted us to see. Well, now, it's a special treat. Gonna go see some giant tortoises, which isn't open to the public yet. So, we're going to this island here. We're just starting to developing it with an, a giant Aldabra tortoise sanctuary. So, we've got 50 Aldabra tortoises. They've come from um, the Seychelles and the Maldives up around there. And we've got some blind ones, some one-eyed ones, a couple of one-legged ones. They've got an environment here where they are perfectly safe. They're not competing for food. And um, we've put an interaction here. <laughs> Out of the way, tree. <laughs> they do feel, they feel through their shells as well. So do be gentle with them. They may feel strong and everything, but they do feel the feeling through your shell and we will show you. 
and we're just going to have a walk around, introduce you to some of them. Oh my like god. And they're sensitive. That's just like tickling a, a dog under the neck. That is so cool. It's so huge. That's cool. It's amazing. It's just made a day. They are dinosaurs. They actually are dinosaurs. They're, they're prehistoric. We think he's 60, but it's quite hard to gauge the age with them. Does he have a name? Can I have a go? Can I swap yes, positions? Yes, you can. Hey, buddy. This looks like a weird position to go. Mm. <laughs> this is he's so beautiful. Mm. Oh, your soft little neck. How does it feel? Like warm apple pie. <laughs> it doesn't right. feel like that. No. Uh, like 60 year old apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy. Uh, it's just quite, it's like you, you can sort of feel like the neck underneath it, but it's like just like the skin really just feel and it's just quite soft. A bit leathery. Where they live, they can they can go without Grow. food and water for about six months. He just spit. He thinks my toes are food. Hey. You're surviving. <laughs> Made a new friend, this is Kermit. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit the tortoise. Kermit the tortoise, if you look on his back right here, he's number 216. Yeah. Which clearly means he's two centuries old. We also have rescued birds here as well. These two are actually a breeding pair. We're going to put uh, the breeding box back in, and one of their young we have, we have further down. Yeah. Proper like pirate parrots, oh, aren't they? To touch you, buddy, but... <laughs> I'm really afraid he's gonna eat my finger. He probably will. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. Right? Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, I think the finger might have gone. And then where you've just walked through, hopefully by next year, there will be a, a little restaurant and a bar up there with an infinity pool overlooking, overlooking the west. So we'll have that here for, for next time you guys come. <laughs> All right, we've made it back to the resort and come straight to the Rasta Beach, which is by reception. They got a nice grill there. We've ordered plenty of burgers, hot dogs, beers are straight in. What, are you, what were you doing this morning? You didn't learn to sail. We were learning to sail today, my first time in the water. Sailing, yeah. brilliant fun. Yeah? Highly recommended. Nice. The burger order is in, we have beers, life Cheers. is good. <laughs> Cheers, Patrick. Don't miss it. Cheers, guys. Boom. Good day. next day, we were going to get to explore a lot more of the island on an open safari tour. Um, I've no idea what I call it safari because it's got nothing to do with wildlife. In fact, it seemed more like a party bus with the tunes blasting out as we got on. Alright, we have a safari, go around town, they've got the music pumping, and we got Sean going to take us around. Our tour guide began by explaining that the reason the island's name is pronounced Antigua rather than Antigua is that although Christopher Columbus named the island after a Spanish church, so it was originally called Antigua, once the British colonized the island, they started calling it Antigua, and it remained the same ever since. But long before Columbus came, people lived here on the island. These were the Arawak Indians. They called the island Wadadli. Wadadli means land of oil, land of many waters. The first stop on our tour was just around the corner from our resort, a place called Devil's Bridge. The reason it's called Devil's Bridge is because Antigua was colonized by the British um, in the 17th century, I think, and, you know, set up slavery, and basically some of the slaves who just escape and then come here to commit suicide just to get away from the atrocities of being a slave. Yeah, pretty tragic history at this spot. You know, it's not a quick way to die. But they'll get smashed against the rock. Um, you probably just get beat to the wall if you fall on the wind. Yeah. And then like this. Yeah. And then just bear in mind that this is the Atlantic, so all that trade winds is coming right across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at times it gets really rowdy. Sometimes we can't stand here. We all have to stand up there. Because right, it just okay. gets okay. really, really rough. Though. From here, we began to make our way inland towards the center of the island. All right, next stop's the Pink Church, which is famous because it's a church that's pink. That's about it. That's about it. That's all there is to say. Guy got that on camera. It's a funny thing. We're on a tour with a bunch of other sort of content creators, YouTubers and stuff, you know, like I'm standing here doing my piece to camera, but then you look around and everyone else is doing their piece to camera as well. They've all got their own style and way of doing it, which is kind of fun to see, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's a bit bizarre. Instead of being the only guy with a camera, everyone's got a camera. What's the name of your Instagram account again? Llama bit no drama. Llama no drama. <laughs> Been all over the world. Yep. 
this one is chicken, the other one is pork. What are you getting? I'm not so yet. <laughs> okay. No, what you it's, get? Uh, it's, it's pepper pot. It's, um, I think, a lentil I soup with like spinach like and okra and like, yeah, a lot of things. I, it's good? It's good, yeah. You want to have a taste? Is that yeah, why not? That's really nice, actually. It's like, the texture's like, just like gunge, like what am I drinking? And then, yeah. once you get that flavor in you, it's fantastic. It's so good. Is it, is it typical for Antigua? It is. For it is. Most times you find the traditional <laughs> Antigua and we go with fungi. And you, you might know it as polenta. Yeah. yeah but because that takes a lot of attention, yeah, okay. I can't do that here. Yeah, no. So that's why I use a lot of dumplings, so that you get something solid inside of it. Yeah. Oh, love it. It's just what I needed right now. Thank you. What is that? I got you peanut punch, non-alcoholic. She won't tell me the secret recipe. All she will reveal is peanuts, peanuts <laughs> milk, and then whatever Marcia puts in it. Yeah, it just tastes it's like fantastic. peanut butter. It's like peanut ice cream. <laughs> yeah, peanut ice cream, there you go. Yeah, and this is called <laughs> original Coca-Cola. Enjoy. As we continued driving southwest across the island, we drove through more villages and spotted a wedding that was going on. Hey! And heading into the rainforest, we saw some of the island's magnificent fruits. We got mangoes right here, mango tree. And some maybe not so magnificent animals. So all the three animals you see in this sheet. <laughs> you won. I have to get that clip. <laughs> okay. Then it wasn't too long before we finally got to the Caribbean coast of the island. So our hotel's on the Atlantic side of the island, but this is the Caribbean side. I just want to go swimming in it, to be honest. But, gotta go. See, gotta go. Let's go. A very good tour. <laughs> well, why didn't you say it? You <laughs> nail it. A good tour always has a beach stop where we can hopefully get a drink and chill. This is the local beer, Carib. It's actually surprisingly tasty, isn't it? I don't know. Because you're supposed to wait for me. <gasps> Cheers. This is the local beer, the Carib. Pretty good, actually. Anyway, you're supposed to wait for me before you cheers. <laughs> We've got Carl here just copying absolutely everything we <laughs> you say. You copying me. I was, I was starting to go first. Well, sure cheers, then. All right, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers mate. <laughs> Let's go get our feet wet. It was an awesome tour, it was really good fun. Just just a nice, easy breezy, fun time exploring the island. There wasn't like any standout moment, like, oh, that bit was amazing, but it was just so nice. Getting out the resort, seeing a bit more of the day-to-day -day life, having interactions with the local people, and as well, just having a really fun afternoon with the group. Our entire group had gathered at the hotel reception to spend an evening at Shirley Heights which is an old military lookout that's been converted into a restaurant and bar with spectacular views of the island. All right, we've come to Shirley Heights for the evening. Best view of Antigua. Gonna have sunset, free drinks, free rock bucks as always. Steel band playing, good times. What, what, what are we getting? Uh, I'm gonna get a Corona. I lived in Mexico for so long, I need Coronas. Yeah. <laughs> See, when you get a whole pack of influencers in the same place, it's gonna become one massive photo shoot. On your Instagram post yet? My Instagram. I like to feel that I've got a traditional. I call it the El Capitan. El Capitan. It you know, look away into the middle distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've got a beautiful vision for the future. And, and, just, and it's just fun. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag feeling very hashtag blessed with hashtag El Capitan. <laughs> capital E, capital C. <laughs> So literally everybody's got their Instagram pose already. I think I'm gonna take Simon's advice and I'm gonna try out the El Capitan this morning ago. It is a beautiful evening though, really cool setting here. Cheap drinks, amazing food, good people, good times. We're having a fantastic evening here at Shirley Heights.
Yes. So we're about three days in the trip now. Hey, you sort of feel the group starting to gel a bit more as everyone gets to know each other. So we're just having an awesome evening, hanging out together with a beautiful sunset. It's a really nice evening, really nice vibe here. in the house. Uh, we have a birthday in the house. Amelia's here in the house celebrating birthday. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> It was the start of another beautiful day in Antigua, and every day would begin the same by heading to the main restaurant and filling up with a massive, massive buffet breakfast. I always find it hard at a buffet because like, you should probably just pick one thing. Yeah, my eyes are always way bigger than my stomach, so I end up just completely stuffing myself with a bit of everything. On the way to the breakfast hall, they got a list of all the activities that are on at the resort for the day. It's everything from tennis lessons to mini golf tournaments, yoga classes, or just, you know, chill by the pool. So everything's made nice and easy. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the beach and have a morning workout session. <sighs> Let's give it a go. Tiny! Tiny! We are doing functional fitness sessions, so body weight circuits. Getting to the gym isn't quite the same as having a team group bonding session at the same time. We do some icebreakers, we keep it fun and light-hearted. Uh, I use the word functional fitness because that's what we're doing. We're doing body weight activities that simulate and replicate everyday movements as we squat, we stand, we sit up, we carry things, we push, we pull. <laughs> My aim here is to actually share some tools for maintaining mental and physical well-being. Whether you're a long-term digital nomad or new to being on the road, it's just good to have a daily consistent routine. Whether it's 10 minutes or 45 minutes, to keep you healthy, to keep that mindset ticking over. Just finished the workout in the sand, in the sun, full of sun cream, sweat and sand. Pretty disgusting, but it's worth it. Cheers, Jamie. Nice good work. Welcome. Cheers, my man. guy's very, very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> This week in Antigua is not just a press trip, but also kind of a mini conference with different sessions on every day. So we've done the fitness ones, there's also ones on travel hacking, storytelling, podcasting, a bit of everything really. Yeah, where are you off to now? So the next session for today will be, uh, for me, maybe the salsa. Actually. Oh yeah? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And even I hosted a seminar on video editing. This is what everything did in Cebu. You have a way of mess. Meaning them? Yeah, like if you saw the screen. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got to do my editing seminar in the afternoon. Never done a seminar before, never taught anything before, so that was fun. It was a really good turnout. <laughs> not bad, it's not bad. <laughs> Since my session was by the mini golf course, it would have been rude not to have a game ourselves. It's our uh, number one cultural experience in Antigua mini golf with drinks, obviously. Yeah. Dane steps up. Wobbles, wobbles up. <laughs> no pressure on him. Oh. oh! This is a good shot, it'll make the edit. <laughs> oh! That was looking good. I thought I had a hold of one for the camera there. <laughs> I just edited it, going like, yeah, I've done it every time. You just need a B roll shot of the ball going <laughs> into the ball. <laughs> That's how it's done! Hole in one! Wow. <laughs> We're in awe in your prison. Some people just have it. Some people just have it. These guys suck. But nailed it. That evening, we made our way down to the English Harbour, which features Nelson's Dockyard, an old British Navy base from the 18th century. And tonight, there's a special seafood evening on. The whole crew's out with us tonight, the whole team, everyone's here, and we realize how big a group we've got here on this trip. The food down here is absolutely gorgeous. What have you got on your plate then, Shu? You, you, I you, have. You're good at describing food. Let's go. I have a boiled corn on the cob. 
got me seasoned, probably a little bit of salt and pepper, some salad mixed over with some hot sauce, some boiled broccoli, again seasoned with some hot sauce, lentil rice, which is uh, very true to the Caribbean, especially Antigua, and some mac and cheese. Who doesn't like mac and cheese? And I'm waiting for my uh, grilled mahi mahi, so. Chu, um, she was like, she really wanted to come to the editing seminar to learn some more about editing, and she was like, definitely gonna be there, definitely gonna be there. And then she missed it. My one highlight of today was uh, attending Carl's talk. Oh, Carl's She's full of shit. So Great news. Absolutely fascinating. So many tips, so many bonus facts. I really nailed the bonus like, timeline. Shu, you're full of shit. <laughs> she let me down, she let herself down, and she let the entire company down, really. I probably spoiled the entire trip for everyone, but we'll get past that. Well, it's good, it's good you made it to something, you know. I really tried, but it was between Carl Cheeseburgers and you can comment below whether you choose Carl or Cheeseburgers. <laughs> well, I'll delete that bit. What are you guys getting here? Seafood pasta. Yeah. Right. Got the mahi mahi as well. Is that all for you? Like... Yeah, so this is all for us too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's like a food challenge. The <laughs> <laughs> <Your> arm punch. <laughs> it's a video, mate. You have to do stuff. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? My name is Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, well, that's an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> It was great having a fun, relaxed evening with everyone. We've got three days left on the island, and I've packed them full by signing up for a few different activities. This morning's one of those mornings we'll have to talk about it after the fact because we didn't really know what we were doing, what we'd sign up for. Like a few of us from the group were invited to come to this other hotel and do some kind of workout on the beach. So there's a couple of problems this morning. One, we woke up and it was like apocalyptic thunderstorms. Filming on my phone because it's pissing with rain. Normally we have you can get a buggy to reception. But because it's raining, it's not safe for the buggy, so we've all just gotta walk it, brave it. Alright, we got Sandy, she's got impromptu <laughs> dust bag. bag and towel. We're gonna do this, don't worry. Antigua survival. Well, I've got a waterproof backpack, so I'm gonna go and try and collect <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so they can actually get the cameras to this place. All right, Dan, Stacey, you got some waterproofs? <laughs> Not really. Nope. Go for the towel option. And so we all have to like walk through the rain, get to the reception, and then there's like delayed, delayed. And we're like, is this thing even gonna happen? Is it even gonna go ahead? But yeah, so I guess we're gonna go work it on the beach. At quarter past six in the morning. So there's that problem, and the second problem was like, we're all hungover as fuck. And that's self-inflicted, so I can't really complain with that. But then we got the bus over here and we still weren't really sure what we signed up for and we arrived here and morale was not high, like people weren't excited. It's one of those things, no one really knows what's going on, but at the same time, it's free. We're here for free, so she was doing her intro as well. You should We're not see rolling. me this morning because I was very, very hungry. Very, very hungry, okay. Well, at least you made it though. Yeah. But then we got down to the absolutely gorgeous beach and realised basically what we're doing is a shooting a promo video for Weight Gym. It's like this little box you can get like dumbbells in, resistant bands. So it's an easy sort of at home gym thing you can use. And they got flurries here from the X Factor. And they're basically shooting a promo video for the Weight Gym. And we were basically the extras in the video. And once we realized that, I was like, ah, oh, this is just a bit of a laugh, really. I work in video, I've worked in video for 12 years, so I don't want to fuck up someone else's video shoot. So we just stood at the back and whenever the camera's on me, I was like, yeah, I've got this. And then in between that, I just took it easy. <laughs> just, just chilled out. Who are you doing from here? Remember after you've got 20 seconds straight to the That's swagger. That's what I do on every trip, mate. It's a bit of morning exercise. <laughs> We had a bit of a giggle, bit of a play around, but made sure they got the shots that they needed, and we filmed some fun stuff. Dane's just fucking around. 
I just have the arm. <laughs> Dane here, you know, he's a photogenic lad, he's in good shape, so they're getting tons of shots of him, whilst I'm in behind him, hung over as fuck, just like, ugh. You gotta stand, you, what we need is you to stand behind, well, I stand like this. Yeah. No, other way around. You stand like that, and yeah. I would be behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I could be lifting the bar. <laughs> I got a tattoo on this trip, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we smashed it. Smashed it for good. Oh, yeah. Nice turn into a good morning. Cleared the hangover. And afterwards we had a really nice chat with Fleur and her cousin Nick and how they together with Nick's brother-in-law Clive came up with the weight gym box. So that was really interesting. But it was good fun, really good fun. I just got to show some of the random kind of things you can end up doing on a press trip. After that very early start, I decided to spend the rest of the day just chilling at the resort. It was great to recharge before our final two days in the Caribbean, and the following morning I was off to the capital city of St. John's for my next excursion, or I should say tri-flexcursion, around the island. Okay, this morning we're doing the tri-flexcursion. Feels like we're doing lots of flexing on this trip, but basically we're gonna be kayaking, biking, and hiking around the island. You have to excuse the audio quality of this because basically the audio input of my camera stopped working. So means the camera's gonna need to be fixed. So yeah, apologies if the sound isn't as good. Hope we can get that sorted before the end of the trip. Mark and Giles were our two guides who were gonna take us on this short tour. We began by cycling through the town, stopping at various points for Giles to explain to us a little bit about the history of the area. Then we hopped into kayaks and went around some more mangroves, learning about the ecosystem. And following this, we cycled around to Fort James Beach, a beautiful little spot on the Caribbean coast of the island. So this bar here is the only rustic beach bar left in Antigua. All the rest of it been replaced by new modern stuff resorts and the rest of it. As original as it gets, you know, that's how I was telling you, she's been here for 47 years. For us, for us restaurants on the beach. So you've had this place for 47 years? Yeah. Wow. Long time. And the most rustic place, the only beach bar that left in Antigua, yes, anyway, because we don't have any more. Only beach, bar, beach bar uh? only beach bar, proper beach bar left. Only proper beach bar left. Rustic. Oh, okay. Rustic. And sweetly dispels in the dew and the rain. Yeah, she was just singing on the phone to the radio and like different people phone in and sing their favorite hymn, which was pretty cool. So if you're right now, that's playing for the radio. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a swim in a sea and cool off. So we stopped at the old fort, all the cannons laid out here, the original ones. The fort was built between 1705 and 1739, and uh, in its heyday, in the 1790s, early 1800s, we used to have 36 cannons up here. Today they're only 10. You said it's from Scotland? Yeah, these came from Scotland. The fort was named after King James II. There was another fort in the distance, a mile and a half away, to be exact, and that's Fort Barrington. So between Fort Barrington Fort James and the Citadel, which is another half mile away, they control the, the waters here in St. John's Harbor. So this tiny building was a disco? No, this one over here. Oh, the big one? Yeah, the big one over here. All so right. The dance floor on this side and the bar was over on that side. Yeah. So just to be clear, originally a fort, it was only during the 1990s that this was a nightclub. So it's shame it's not open. It's called what? Plantation. Plantation. Yeah. I'm not going to try and go on the old dance floor. That's a horror movie way to happen. Yeah, it was a fun morning doing that triflex excursion. I mean, it's an ideal activity if you're coming to Antigua on a cruise because you can hop off the boat and then, you know, get to explore the town, see the mangroves, go to a beautiful beach, a little bit about the history at the fort, and it's all wrapped up in this one activity. So yeah, it was great fun. That evening, we head over to the Pineapple Resort, which is opposite ours, for a special barbecue event with an exclusive acoustic performance from Fleur East up at their outhouse bar. All right, we've made it to the gig venue. This is a cool little bar and barbecue place with an amazing lookout over the sea. So we're gonna get settled in here and hopefully have an awesome gig. Oh, 
I wanted that to go flying, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Too many eyes. <laughs> so this bar started out just a bunch of trees, but then you only get this bar so people write in the walls, but here they're writing a plank of wood, they nail it in. And now you've got all this everywhere. It's fucking cool. Love this place. You should have come here more often. We got Neil here, seven of the best chicken in town. Looks awesome, guys. Yeah, man, thanks. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. We are. Yeah, we have pineapple. Hey! <laughs> 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 All right, let's try this again. Yeah! Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Boom. <laughs> After the gig, we were feeling lazy and just got a buggy back across to our resort. So guys, we're just in Antigua, uh, the best night ever, the food was delightful and... Oh, we're here, It was our last day in Antigua, but fortunately I'd lined up the two activities I've been looking forward to the most on this trip. All right, good morning from Galleon Beach. This is the last activity we're doing before the Sunset Party Cruise tonight. I have a feeling we saved the best one for last because what we're doing this morning is going scooter snorkeling. This is basically where we have this little jetpack thing in the water that you hold on to and it'll just take us through the water. So hopefully you cover some good distance, Hopefully see some wildlife, maybe some turtles and stingrays. Now this is a protected area. This is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we have to abide by the rules of this beach. One of the rules in regards to the marine environment is that we don't touch any sea turtles. We just observe them from a distance. When they give us a list of activities, this is the one that everyone wanted to do. So pretty lucky to get a spot on this. The way it works is you've got like a trigger on either side, you've got both your hands on, and they both have the same function, it's just because your thumbs get tired, you switch up. But yeah, press it once, you cruise it along, double tap, twice the speed, triple tap, triple the speed. I'm mainly just using the first one just to cruise, and then the other one just to go on and dive down, do things like that. Most persons are quite fearful of going snorkeling on their own for far distances, and we just figured if you have something that can assist you while snorkeling, oh. it will kind of take you further and it's yeah, so much fun as well it is fun. <laughs> I mean it's especially with people that are good at free diving yeah it's gonna be really fun basically like playing like a video game almost and just kind of like whizzing around yeah we went right out and we're diving down doing 360 turns This is awesome. Everybody enjoy scooter snorkeling. <laughs> he's like screaming and <laughs> I'm like, other than Tommy. <laughs> Apart from the minor injury. You should have seen the shark though. <laughs> I can't see it, so I hope no, it doesn't look We're all like, oh my god. Like, oh, go have you got any last words you want to get on video? <laughs> um, no, I've got no last words. <laughs> enjoy it, Sai.
top notch, mate. I'd never want to do real swimming again. I just want to poodle around on a little scooter all day long. <laughs> So you guys, you guys went in like a few minutes early, which is fine, but then what happened then? Well, I got to see a bunch of turtles. I, did you see more beyond the one that I showed you? Nope. I saw a few more, uh, and then I got to see a ray. Not to make you feel better or anything. Yeah. I feel like you guys gave up and got rewarded to see a ray. So the lesson is, guys, give up. Give up and you'll be rewarded. Yeah. Go, go in early. <laughs> Oh, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. It's one of those things you hope would be good, and it didn't disappoint, it was amazing. That afternoon, the whole gang gathered together for a sunset party cruise to finish off our trip. We're about to get the sunset party cruise, and we're in the town of St. John's, and you learn different things from different content creators, because apparently the highlight of the town is this yellow wall right here. Guys, <laughs> looking good, guys. Keep laughing. Change your legs up a bit. Patrick, go closer to Taylor like you like her. I think I did a, I did a bunch. Hello. <laughs> Can someone explain to me what the fascination with coloured walls is? I'm not trying to be cynical, I'm because just curious. Because they make you happy. Okay. When you're, when you're scrolling on your Instagram feed and you see a bright coloured wall. No. Okay, cool. Are you on the go? The best selfie wall ever. Yeah, we're going to be late for the boat because we found a yellow wall. Mm -hmm. Yellow and blue wall, everyone needs at least 10 photos. I feel like I should have a go, I'm feeling left out here. All right then, let's go get on the fucking boat. <laughs> She's made it. I've made it, just about. Thank you very much. What's on the menu? Captain special. Yeah? Also Captain secret. <laughs> the baby maker. Yeah, man. You want one, girl? Yeah. I'll take one for you. Thank you. We're stuffed up now. We're good. You ought to be over 21 for that, buddy. <laughs> I'm slightly over 21, All mate. Right. Don't you worry. <laughs> what's, what's your name? Carl. Your name's Carl? Yeah. My name's Carl. Nice with you, Carl. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's going to be easy to remember your name. What's your name? Marley. We don't have the uh, Well, <laughs> he's got a better name. <laughs> well, we haven't even left the dock yet, and Tom's already got it going. Go on, Sunshine. Make those babies. This leads to that. <laughs> That's the effect of one baby maker. <laughs> all right, so the whole thing with this evening is we're all given free t-shirts with a slogan on, but I wasn't there when they were given out, so I just grabbed one out of the bag, and it turns out I got the perfect size. <laughs> it's, there's times in my life where I think people don't take me seriously as a travel filmmaker or as a human being, and I have no idea why. You know, not every trip you go on is going to be some big life-changing adventure. Like, sometimes you just need a chill holiday and just have a bit of fun. But despite this trip looking on the surface like a bit of superficial fun with us getting spoiled rotten in the Caribbean, the whole experience actually really, really meant a lot to me. You have to pinch yourself to remind you how lucky and privileged we are to be here in Antigua doing this. You know, when I started doing my travel videos just for a laugh 10 years ago, I never in wildest dreams imagined that I'd be invited to come out to Antigua for free and film it and teach other people about editing, it's insane. It's just, it's hard to process, like, the tourism board are thanking us for coming here. It's like, what do you want about? Thank you, you know? Like, people dream the whole life about going to the Caribbean, and we got to come here for free, and it's just, I know this sounds like a humble brag, but it's just, it's insane. And so we're so lucky, and I'm so grateful for Traverse, Tiga Tourism, and everyone's put this together, they an amazing job. And so, yeah, we're all just, we're all loving life right now, so. Cheers. And 
like I said at the start of the video, I didn't really know most of the people who are going to be on this trip. I didn't know what it was going to be like being with 40 other different travel influencers, but in all honesty, I just couldn't have asked for a better group. You know, there was no divas, there was no dickheads, no one believed their own hype. Everyone was super down to earth and just really passionate about traveling and creating content. And just spending a week with those people, like I learned so much, it was so inspiring and motivating. And I came away from it feeling like I've made friends for life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great that they were so welcoming because I'm surprised I didn't scare them off on the first day because my first day in the sun, I was putting my sun cream on and I must have scratched my nose. And so I had this line of sunburn right there. And it looked like I had like a face off operation that had gone wrong and my face was just splitting in two. <laughs> And as for doing press trips, I mean, going forward, I don't want to do them instead of my own adventures. You know, I still want to go off and do my own thing. But if I get to do them in addition to them, then why not, you know? But the one I've got coming up next is also with Traverse, and it's for their annual conference that this year is going to be in Trentino in Italy. And by going to that conference, I've managed to sign up to a whole bunch of activities to build up this two-week trip through the Italian Alps and finishing it at the Dolomites. So, that was awesome. <laughs> so that's what's coming up next. And in terms of environment, it's like the complete opposite of Antigua. You know, I'll be going for from beaches to mountains, but if it's anywhere as near as fun as this week in Antigua, I can't wait. I can't let you go.